All right, this is either going to go really well, or I'm getting burned at the stake. Ojama Yellow is the embodiment of Jesus Christ. That's the stance that I'm taking today, and I intend to die on that hill. The proof is in the pudding. Well, more so the cards. We'll be looking at sets that the Ojama archetypes make appearances in, and I'll be demonstrating how each set that includes the Ojamas tells of different stories from the Holy Text. So where does our story begin? Year Zero. Well, actually, it's December 1st of 2003. Dark Crisis. And I couldn't fathom a more suitable name for the set that depicts the story of creation, the fall of man in the Garden of Eden, and the advent of original sin. Dark Crisis introduced the concept of Ojamas, and at the time, it was nothing more than that, a mere concept much like the concept of humans in God's creation. Our first introduction to Ojamas was Ojama Trio. As shown in their card art, they are surrounded by several lights. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. And from this burst of light came our first singular Ojama monster, Ojama Green, who can be likened to Adam. But surely two measly cards couldn't tell the entire origin story of Ojaman, of course, I came prepared with several examples as Dark Crisis is littered with them. Altar for Tribute, symbolizing the tree of knowledge within the Garden of Eden, which held the forbidden fruit that if Adam and Eve were to eat of, they should surely die. The altar being a physical manifestation of the tree itself, and the tribute being the sacrifice of the domain over Eden that Adam and Eve would inevitably give when eating of the fruit. But who, pray tell, would lead these beings of purity to such horrendous acts, an embodiment of sin, destruction, and demise. Lurking in the shadows, a fear from the dark, or a despair from the dark, if you will. None other than the devil himself, who donned the disguise of a serpent to tempt Eve. A reptile. Perhaps, Des Feralim? There's no blurring the lines here, people. Des is North American TCG censoring of the word death from the original card name in the OCG. The reptile led them to death, or a really eternal rest. But who is charged with protecting the Garden of Eden? Who was to warn Adam and Eve of the devil's intent of deception? To guard them. Guard. Guardians, so to speak. Guardians each with their unique weapons of divine power. Or angels, perhaps. We also find blast held by a tribute. And I know what you're saying. What does that have to do with anything? That was intended to be the fall of Seto Kaiba, not humanity. But isn't it peculiar how the apparatus on the figure's chest quite closely resembles an apple? You can't make this stuff up, people. And in conceding to that temptation came the fall of man. Man falling down, like the card falling down. It's also in Dark Crisis. We're still in Dark Crisis. Or maybe dragged down into the grave is better suited in capturing the blunder of Adam and Eve. Need I say more? Shinado's Ark? Bruh! And what card can be likened to Eve, you might ask? Wouldn't you like to know? And this is only the beginning, like literally. But before we continue, let's take a look at Ojama King, God itself, making its debut in the soul of the duelist. Ojama King is the most powerful Ojama monster. It's more than likely that he was in fact the very first of the Ojamas, and the Ojamas that wander below him were clearly made in his image. Invasion of Chaos continues the tellings from the Bible after the fall of man and original sin. Monsters born of chaos. But we also find two new heroes in our story, one of which will become the savior of man. Ojama Black and Ojama Yellow. Ojama Yellow bears a striking resemblance to the king, being the only other Ojama with eye stalks, a god in the flesh of sorts. Ojama Black could be seen as Abraham, Matthew, John, insert other important name from scripture. Nonetheless, Black isn't as important. What do you mean by that? Our focus is on Ojama Yellow. Just like Dark Crisis, these two individual cards aren't the only examples. The cards Tower of Babel and Blasting the Ruins are direct references from Genesis and the Telling of Babylon. The Tower of Babel is thought to have been built to avoid the long-awaited sequel to the Great Flood, the Great Flood 2, the blasphemous structure was destroyed by Ojama King. We also find Ojama Delta Hurricane. However, 
There's another piece to this puzzle that we need before we can understand its relevance, so keep this one in your back pocket for now. There are more lighter references such as stray lambs and stumbling, stray lambs being the once followers of God searching for a different deity or possibly following under the devil. As they stumble away from truth and love, Guardian Angel Joan also makes her debut in Invasion of Chaos, and along with the original Guardian, we now have our nine visions of what the angels looked like. Oh yeah, this one goes deep. Pause. Now, we need to make a pretty big time jump, not only in the story, but in the eras of the game itself. From early Duel Monsters era to the mid-GX era, with Tactical Evolution. Tactical Evolution follows the tellings of Jesus' baptism. So we can assume that Ojama Black was probably John the Baptist. Why'd they do my mans like that? Our first card is not, in fact, an Ojama, but Spell Reclamation, which strangely looks to be a dramatization of, say, a baptism? But was Ojama Yellow the one under the water? Yeah. <laughs> and upon rising from the depths, Ojama Yellow emerged and officially took on his role as the Son of God, and soon to be the Savior of Man. Ojama Knight, which was fittingly released after the original Ojama Yellow, this is after the baptism. How do I know this? Well, Ojama Knight shares the same eye stalks as Ojama Yellow and Ojama King, and you know, he's yellow, but who are the elders in the background? And with the baptism of Ojama Yellow and his mission as the Son of God in full commence, it signaled the inevitable. The bruising of the serpent's head foretold in scripture. And if you recall, We've decided a certain serpent is in fact a reptile, and it does have a head, surprisingly, which can be bruised, or even damaged. Damaged equals reptile. Let it soak in. Preceding the baptism, Ojama Yellow, or Jesus, would venture into the forest for 40 days fasting of food and water, but not without temptation and torment from the devil. Remember Ojama Delta Hurricane? Go ahead and pull that out of your back pocket, and let's take a look at Rise of Destiny. In Rise of Destiny, we see new Harpy support, more specifically the persecution of Ojamas or the followers by the Harpies. But more importantly, we find Triangle Ecstasy Spark, the harpy counterpart to Ojama Delta Hurricane. The power of good clashing with the power of evil. And this is the first time we can actually look at the effects of these cards and it helps to aid us in retelling the story of Jesus' trial in the wilderness. Triangle Ecstasy Spark increases the attack of all harpy monsters to 2700. This makes your harpy monsters all formidable foes, much like the devil's temptations. It's powerful and can at times be extremely trying to overcome. However, Ojama Delta Hurricane holds the ability to destroy all of your opponent's cards, in a way, resisting the lures of the devil. Ojama Delta Hurricane, or the firm obedience to God held by Jesus, was far more powerful than the triangle ecstasy spark of the devil. The faith prevailed, and the devil was bested, and Jesus would pursue his ministry on earth. Where do we go from here? Well, we'll save that for another time because that's going to wrap up today's discussion. Tell me what you think. Drop a comment down below. Let me know. If you liked the video, don't forget to drop a big thumbs up. It's greatly appreciated, as always, guys. I want to thank you also for 1,000 subs. We just recently passed it. I can't thank you guys enough for that. But until next time, this has been Purple Pineapple TV. Signing off.